COVID-19 pandemic has taken over our world in the past few months. But how does our body react when it comes in contact with SARS-CoV-2? Though not much information is known about SARS-CoV-2, it is said to behave like SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV because of the similar RNA sequences. The host response and clearance of other coronavirus infections heavily rely on type 1 interferon expression. Viral RNA binds to and activates pattern recognition receptors, or PRRs, and cytoplasmic RNA sensors on immune cells, which result in immune cell activation. This triggers increased expression of type 1 interferon and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. The activation of adaptive immune responses should result in pathogen clearance and recovery. Think about it this way. When a robber, or in this case, any other type of virus, comes to rob the bank, the cell, by opening the lock, the ACE2 receptor, the alarm systems go off and the security guards in the bank are notified, or in case of the virus, the TLR3 and 7 receptors and the RNA sensors are activated. This, in turn, alerts the cop by the messages sent by the alarm, the cytokines, and the police, the immune cells, then arrive quickly to remove the robber or virus. Some of the ways SARS-CoV-2 evade all efforts of the immune system are by the degradation of RNA sensors and by inhibiting the activation of antiviral signaling proteins and by inhibiting the TNF receptor-associated factors 3 and 6, which are important for the signaling pathways. Think of the same circumstance, except this time the robber is smarter and better armed, the novel coronavirus. It disarms the alarm systems, shoots the guards, replicates, infects the cell, and escapes, leaving behind havoc and chaos. Antibody-dependent enhancement has been shown to promote cellular uptake of virus particles in immune complexes that may contribute to viral replication in immune cells, and immune complex-mediated inflammatory responses that contribute to organ damage, including acute respiratory distress syndrome. As a result of pro-inflammatory cytokine expression and the presence of nuclear antigens from cell and tissue damage, adaptive immune cells may become activated and trigger a second wave of inflammation, which can cause a cytokine storm. T lymphocytes may drive inflammation at later disease stages. It is important to understand the immunology of SARS-CoV-2 so we know how it attacks the body and so we can develop medicine to help our body fight against the virus. I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching.